So if a club was to join the CSC, what steps would they take to become a member? Okay. Um, for the martial arts industry, and I want to preface this at the beginning because it, uh, it's sometimes challenging for clubs. Because we run like the rest of the sports world runs, um, which the martial arts industry hasn't quite done that. I mean, if you come from hockey or soccer or baseball, you'll kind of get it. Um, if you just come from the world of martial arts, a lot of this is new information. So what happens is a club actually has to join. Um, and the way they join is they fill out a form, which is on our website, they pay a membership fee, and that gives them membership privileges in the organization. They not only become members of, of CSC, but they become members of every provincial sporting organization that we work with. So we have Kickboxing Ontario, um, Kickboxing PEI, Kickboxing Nova Scotia. We have a group in, in, in the Northwest Territories now. We have a group in BC that's evolving. We have a group in, in Nova Scotia. So they actually become a member of any one of our provincial affiliates. Um, and that allows their athletes to enter competitions. It allows their athletes to become members of national teams. It allows their coaches to take coaching courses, get certification. Um, and probably the biggest reason why most of our clubs join is to get some access to our insurance policy. Um, we're the only organization that has a complete um, $2 million liability policy for every club that joins our organization, as well as an accident and injury policy, which means that if one of your athlete sprains your ankle and they need to get physiotherapy, they get 45 bucks a pop for 12 weeks. So we actually provide a service to member clubs that um, as, a, as a former amateur athlete, you know, I could have really used that physiotherapy <laughs> when, when I was a lot younger. So that's part of what happens. A club joins the organization and then there's a series of requirements that the coaches have to make. So coaches have to get um, a police check with a vulnerability sector search like any coach in any sport. They've got to take a first aid course and they've got to take an NCCP coaching course like any other sport in the organization. So if you want to coach hockey, you've got to get a police check and you've got to take a, a, a hockey instructor's course. I remember we have um, a lot of coaches in our organization that will join and they've competed in professional ranks that fought in the UFC, um, why do I have to take a coaching course? And, and my answer to them is, when you take a course with, with, uh, with our organization, we're not teaching you how to coach MMA. Uh, we're not teaching you how to coach kickboxing. All we're doing is giving you a framework that you have to look at and make sure that when I'm coaching, I'm meeting this framework. And the framework is sports injuries, legalities, and rules regulations. Uh, we have one component that talks about athlete development, and that whole module is written by um, Nick Cipriano, who's um, a former coach of the Canadian National Olympic team, who actually designed a, a module for us. He's a professor at McMaster University on how to work with um, um, growing athletes. So that course becomes mandatory. Once you've done all those steps, you get a coaching card, and that allows you to corner at competitions. Um, and that's the same structure that every other sporting organization in the country actually goes through. Again, a new process, but that's how a coach gets involved in the organization, and that's how our organization makes um, every other mainstream sport ourselves look like them. An athlete, they also register with us, they do an annual medical, um, that annual medical has to be done by a physician, once they do that they get an athlete passport that allows them to compete. All of our athletes are graded according to age, weight, and experience level. So when kids compete with each other, they can only compete with um, somebody of a similar age bracket, um, a similar weight class, and a similar amount of experience. We have pre-novice, novice, and open number of, of uh, abouts that kids have. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to take our sport now and make sure the opportunities for people to compete are done in the most safe and regulated manner. Um, so outside of what coaches are required to do and what athletes are required to do, you know, the organization is open to anybody that wants to join and get involved.